Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to put together an easy nuke. When it's put together, this is what it looks like. Um, these are really common for if you're buying a nuke. This is what you'll typically see. The entrance is right here. Um, but it's corrugated plastic here. Corrugated cardboard. And it's from the easy nuke company. Um, these guys are really the only ones that make this kind of style like this for the price that you're going to get it at. Um, however, I'm going to show you how to put it together. So if you're like me, when I first got these a couple of years ago, the first time I tried to use these, um, I went ahead and bought quite a few of them. And then when they came, they come in big sheets like this. I didn't quite know how to put it together. Because in my mind, I thought, you know, it's going to be relatively easy, relatively simple to fold it up into that box. But once you start folding all the pieces together, it gets a little complicated. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. Um, it comes in a big, big straight white sheet like this. Uh, if you're not doing it outside, the best place to do it is on the floor for sure. Um, just because they're so big and it takes quite a bit of space. For me, I always start on the end here with these three cutouts. This is going to be the lid here, and that side is the bottom. This is the entrance side, and this is the ventilation side. So I always start with the lid. Um, I pre-fold all of my, my creases up. It makes it a lot easier, especially with this being plastic, to actually put it together. So I've gone ahead and already pre-folded pre all, all my pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and do the top. So you fold these side pieces in here. And this, this bit is kind of like a lot like a pizza box. The top part, it gives you that little, little ledge there. Go ahead and fold it over, or flip it over. And this side is going to be, this here is the bottom, so we're working on the far side now. And what you're going to want to do is grab these two sides here that have all these little holes. You can't quite see them. There's little holes here for ventilation on both sides. You're going to grab those, fold them up, and in. These are going to give strength to your sides, and this here is going to be your bottom. Then go ahead and fold this bottom piece up. And then these little side J hooks here. You want these on the inside of your sides here. So just go ahead, fold those in on your sides there. And now you've got most of your box shape. You just gotta fold in the, the sides so it sticks together. And this holds together without any extra glue, nails, or anything like that. <clears throat> Alright. So once you got your sides up, I'll show you this side first. You're gonna want to come in on the inside here. And make sure that these have free movement, your sides, your uh, stabilizers there. On the top side here, go ahead and fold these down on both sides. You can really only do one side at a time, so it's fine if it pops up. And we'll do this side first. These, side, these uh, slots here are going to line up for your stabilizing side. So to go in the top slot and pull it, and grab the, the lip, pull it all the way through so it's snug in there together. And when you do that, you have two little um, little tabs here and here that will fold down and give you this ledge. This is the ledge that your frames are going to sit on. So to pull the tab through the top slot, go ahead and push it through the second one. And then you've got your side. And this here is going to give the, the inside handhold a little bit of thickness so that way the corrugated plastic doesn't really hurt your hands. You just go ahead and fold that, fold that under, tuck it under, and it's good to go. So this side is done, and now we'll move to this side. Same thing, make sure that your, your slots and your edges are lined up good. Fold down this top bit, make sure all your slots are still lined up. Come into the inside here, take your uh, your bracer side, right through the top slot, pull it tight, your tabs will fold down to create nice tight corners, and have a ledge here for your frames to sit across. Put it through the second slot, there you go there, and then fold and tuck this piece underneath, and that gives you your hip. Alright, then you get your box, drop down, 
and you're all good to go. It is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but if it's the first time that you're doing it, uh, it can get a little, a little tricky there. So that's their, your easy nuke. This is where I get them from. I order them, oops, upside down. <laughs> order them online. Um, a couple years ago when I first started getting them, they were only about 10 or 12 bucks a piece. Uh, Three-ish years ago, they came up to about $15 a piece. And I think now <clears throat> they're about 20 bucks a piece. So um, they are getting up there a little bit, but they are really good for swarm catches transferring temporary colonies and all that good stuff it also works really well as a good five frame um high if you don't really have the wooden wear to set up a, a new colony they can stay they're more than fine to stay in this for any length of time the only issue that you really have is um, potential moisture issues with any leakage and uh overcrowding a little bit quicker so you may get swarms faster if you leave them in this for too long Anyway, that's how you do an easy new. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely let me know, um, comments or whatnot. And if you have any other products that you would like to see specifically, let me know that as well.